Okay, Nail Fam, your girl tried to do a little cartoon drawing, and here is how this went. The view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Bam! Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Tia Bella. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I will be unboxing a package that I received from this brand called Aoki Tech. They did send me over a poly gel kit and they also sent me over an acrylic brush, which I am so excited for. This is a number 16 Kalinsky brush and it looks like it is a bit oval shaped. I do remember a subscriber telling me that when I purchased my next acrylic brush, it needs to be oval shaped and it needs to be pinched. And I don't know how I will pinch this, but overall this brush looks really promising. I can't wait to practice some more acrylic with it. All right, so we're gonna be focusing mainly on the poly gel kit that they have sent me and I'm gonna have their website linked down in the description box. So if you are interested in any of the products mentioned in this video or on their website, feel free to visit. So upon opening the poly gel kit, we can see that there is an insert here. This has some poly gel instructions as well as some tips and tricks on how to apply and use the products in this kit. So this poly gel extension kit does come with six poly gels and they did send over an extra poly gel as well. So thank you so much for sending that. And then it also has a mini LED lamp so that you can cure your poly gels if you don't have a large lamp. I particularly like to use these smaller ones for flash curing. It also has the USB cord so that you can connect it. Now, as with all poly gel kits, they usually come with nail tips or dual forms. These are curved dual forms. So if you are interested in using dual forms, you will definitely enjoy using this kit. I particularly do not use dual forms, okay? Also included in this kit, we do have a 100-180 file. It is a professional washable file, and it also comes with a poly gel brush. And this is a dual ended poly gel brush. One end has the brush for the poly gel and then the other end has a spatula. There is also a slip solution that you can use to help you patch your poly gel into place. This is how that bottle looks. And then also included, we do have our base and top coat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to swatching these poly gels. I just wanted to show you quickly the names of all of the poly gels and show you that there is a little silver tab on each one of them. So we're just gonna quickly look at the names before we swatch these. So in this particular poly gel kit, there is a mixture of some glitter poly gel, and then we also have a nude and a white. So as you can see here, this first one is a glitter poly gel, and that's actually a unique color. It's very different from other poly gels that I have swatched here on my channel. Absolutely unique colors as well. So can't wait to actually use them in a fun nail design. Now for the design for today, I will be using the nude poly gel and I'm also going to be using like the silver glitter ones which are absolutely beautiful all right let's quickly finish swatching these poly gels and we're going to get into a quick nail design Yeah. Slow mo. 
So here is a look at the poly gels in the natural sunlight. Absolutely gorgeous glitter is absolutely beautiful. So because I like that silver one so much, that's why I ended up using that one. And I thought the one that was called Skin Tune was actually quite interesting. So we're going to be using that one today. All right, so I'm going to be doing the Lazy Girl Method, also known as the Femi Beauty Method. And I'm going to go ahead and prep my full cover nail tips. What I like to do is take my nail drill and a sanding band and just kind of go around that cuticle area, getting it nice and flush so that when I apply it to my nail, it definitely looks quite seamless and looks very natural. Once I'm done filing around that cuticle area, then I will take some primer and I'm just gonna add a little bit of primer to the inside area of the nail. This part isn't necessary, but I like to just do it just because I feel like it helps a little bit. I don't really know if it does help. So I'm just gonna take the primer and uh, etch, give it a chemical etching on the inside of the nail. Once I am done, I'm now ready to go ahead and apply the poly gel to the inside of the nail. I'm gonna take my Aoki Tech poly gel brush and we're just going to dip into this lip solution and then get ready to apply the poly gel. So I'm going to be doing a glitter ombre. So I'm going to take that glitter poly gel first and we're going to pat this into place first and then we're going to cure this. I'm going to leave the cuticle bead last because I need that bead to be wet so that when I apply it to my nail, it will actually add hair. All right, I'm going to do the design on the thumb as well as the ring finger. Now, I don't know if it's because it's getting a little bit warmer here in Ireland. It's still a bit cold, but it's also getting warmer. So the poly gels came out of the tube so quickly and I thought they were going to be a little bit sticky, but they're not. So they were so easy to use and so easy to pat and they weren't like lifting or anything like that. So I kind of like that this was a very softer poly gel, which makes it easy for beginners to pat this into place. All right, so now for the other nails, we're just gonna go in with this Skin Tune Poly Gel color, which I find to be absolutely gorgeous color. It was exactly what the name said, absolutely Skin Tune. And when I adhered these to my nails, I was like, wow, absolutely stunning color. All right, so we've cured the poly gel for 60 seconds and now we're gonna go in with that cuticle bead. I really should not have applied the poly gel all the way down to the cuticle area on those other nails, but it's already too late for that. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, apply that cuticle bead and then we're gonna go ahead and apply them to my nails and then give them another cure for 60 seconds. So here's how the nails are looking once I have applied them and cured them. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of file around that cuticle area because I did have some poly gel slip out. 
which can happen when you use the Lazy Girl Femi Beauty method. So I'm going to use my 5-in-1 nail drill bit that I got from Nailed to the Hustle, and we're just going to go ahead that uh, go ahead and go around that um, cuticle area. Once I'm done using this drill bit, then I will swap out for the sanding band and just kind of go around this area again, making sure that it is nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to go in with my 100 180 file, just kind of file around those edges, making sure they are nice and crisp. And then we're going to take our buffer and we're just going to buff the shiny surface off of the top of the nail. right here is how the nails are looking that cuticle area looking a little bit nicer and uh, i just wanted to show you in natural light what it looks like so not too bad considering that my cuticles usually be a little bit um lumpy and bumpy like i said i should probably should have um not applied all of the poly gel to that base area one time because that would have reduced the spilling out but anyway we're gonna wipe this down with some alcohol give that a nice scrub and then we're getting ready to do some nail art okay so i'm gonna take some line art gel from bellavina and we're just gonna do like a little um crisscross lines i got inspiration from cheyenne nails I think that's how you pronounce her name off of Instagram. She did a really nice set that had some butterflies on it. So that's where I got the inspiration from. And then also Nails by Dell, who does all of those cartoon line work and gorgeous, stunning designs on Instagram. That's where I got the inspiration to try to do a little bit of Bratz. Now, guys, let me tell you, this poor Bratz cartoon, she needed a little bit of plastic surgery. She needed to go and see somebody for this little face that we have going on so you know it was a struggle and then this is actually my first time attempting to draw a character so bear with your girl all right so here is how i got started so we needed a skin tone color um you guys know that i have lots of these gel liners um that i purchased off of amazon i have some from aliexpress as well so we're going to try to draw the face first and we're just going to do like a little kind of oval face using a nice skin tone gel liner and uh, once we have this part done first, then we'll cure this under the UV lamp for around 30 to 60 seconds. You're going to have to do a lot of curing in between each layer that you add on to the nail. Yeah. All right, we have our face done. And I only did one layer and I'm thinking maybe I should have gone in with two layers. After I did this nail design though, guys, I realized I should have used gel paint and not gel polish. So um, I do have some gel paint. So I will be retrying this again. All right. So now that we have the face done, let's move on to the eyes. We're going to take our white gel liner here and we're just going to go ahead and draw some eyes onto this face. Okay, so we added in the nose and we added in some beautiful lips and I was pulling out all of my colors. I was trying to get some little eyeshadow going on there, you know, trying to do a little bit of contouring there. <laughs> and I tried to do a little lip liner and everything. 
We added a bandana, some eyebrows, or shirt. We got a little navel piercing, and and we put little strands in front of our head. We even I even gave her some cleavage, guys. My girl got some cleavage, and I was really trying to say to myself, should I post this or not? But you know what? It's nice to see how the process of you learning, um, your struggles, your failures, so that you can look back and see how much you've improved. All right. So after I'm done. The last thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and apply some top coat over the entire nails. Look at that gorgeous glitter poly gel from Aoki Tech. Absolutely beautiful. The thumb and the ring finger were my favorites, obviously, because they just they were just absolutely perfect. All right. We're going to apply some top gel to all the nails. Give them a cure for 60 seconds. And then we're just going to add on some butterflies uh, to that um index finger and cure and then basically we are done with this nail design guys so i definitely want to try some more cartoon figures even though she little um her face her makeup you know a little melted she been partying so that's how she looked afterwards all right hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial i look forward to doing some more and i will see you in my next video